In the 1990s, the Air Force was developing uncrewed aerial intelligence platforms. One was the stealthy Lockheed Martin, RQ-3 Darkstar. Another was the Global Hawk. Due to budget cuts, only one of the programs could survive. It was decided to proceed with the Global Hawk. For its range and payload, rather than go with the stealth Dark Star. The Northrop Grumman RQ-4, Global Hawk. Is a high-altitude, remotely piloted surveillance aircraft of the 1990s to 2020s. The Global Hawk is operated by the United States Air Force. It is used as a high-altitude long-endurance platform, covering the spectrum of intelligence collection capability to support forces in worldwide military operations. According to the U.S. Air Force, the superior surveillance capabilities of the aircraft allow more precise weapons targeting and better protection of friendly forces. It can survey as much as 40,000 square miles, 100,000 km2, of terrain per day, an area of the size of South Korea or Iceland. Demand for the RQ-4's abilities was high in the Middle East. Thus, the prototype aircraft were actively operated by the USAF in the war in Afghanistan. In June 2011, the Global Hawk was certified by the Secretary of Defense as critical to national security. Following a breach of the Nunn-McCurdy Amendment, the Secretary stated, The Global Hawk is essential to national security. There are no alternatives to Global Hawk, which provide acceptable capability at less cost. Global Hawk costs $220 million less per year than the Lockheed U-2 to operate on a comparable mission. The U-2 cannot simultaneously carry the same sensors as the Global Hawk. And if funding must be reduced, Global Hawk has a higher priority over other programs. Global Hawk ACTD prototypes were used in the war in Afghanistan and in the Iraq War. Since April 2010, they fly the northern route from Beale Air Force Base over Canada to Southeast Asia and back, reducing flight time and improving maintenance. While their data collection capabilities have been praised, the program lost three prototype aircraft to accidents. More than one quarter of the aircraft used in the wars. Media report described the Global Hawk, the General Atomics, MQ-1 Predator, and the MQ-9 Reapers, the most accident-prone aircraft in the Air Force fleet. In July 2022, the U.S. Air Force announced that it plans to retire the Global Hawk in 2027.